language is one kind of medium of communication and uh, it's a blessing from almighty allah in uh, holy quran almighty allah narrated allama uh, bayan the translation is uh, he taught him speech and intelligence you will find these words on uh, surah ar rahman you know we have in this mother tongue uh, um, which is bengali this is a mother tongue we have to be master on a foreign language as a foreign language it is no denying fact that english is most important and dominant language all over the world due to globalization the world has come under an umbrella if you want to cope with the global world everybody should have good command over english uh, for this reason english is as usual otherwise our country will be lagging behind uh, Actually, English is a language of international communication and tourist world can't ignore its importance. Uh, truly speaking, it is needless to say the significance of learning English. Uh, and, um, you know, so learning English is the order of the day. In a country, English is getting popular day by day and uh, people are now trying to learn English desperately because English is, uh, is, uh, is the passport of bright future. But why we are lagging behind in terms of speaking English? I figure out some points uh, which I'm going to share with you. In a society, uh, in a society, English is hardly uh, used uh, in communicative purpose. Rather, English is uh, confined to the textbook and classroom. That's why we have, uh, uh, that's why the unable to speak in English. Uh, and you know, uh, in our daily conversation, we are bound to speak in Bengali. For that reason, we are uh, we forget we are forget to speak in English and we are forget to think in English as well. You know, though English is uh, is a compulsory subject from grade uh, one to graduate level, but uh, after a long year of academic education, most of these students are remain weak in English uh, due to lack of proper environment. Um, you know, another reason is that students are fond of learning grammar. You know. Uh, you will get uh, you will get many graduate and postgraduate students who can't speak in English. Uh, besides this, you will uh, uh, you will find majority students neither can speak in English nor write. You know what's the reason behind it? I will say our present classroom situation is a barrier to learn English. Uh, they pass and get good marks in the exam, but they are unable to speak in English. So what steps should be taken or how can we improve our English uh, proficiency? I'll, do, I'll share with you in my next video. I hope you will uh, watch my next video. Till then, bye bye and always thanks for watching.